Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to another Lego Castle set review. Today we have set number 70403 and this is Dragon Mountain. So this set was released in 2013 as part of the castle theme. This comes with a piece count of 376 pieces, comes with 5 minifigures. It retailed at the time for £34.99 and pence or $49.99 and that's on the LEGO store or the LEGO store online. So at the time of recording this video in 2015, this is discontinued from LEGO, um, but it's still available in some stores and some places online um, at the moment. Okay, so there we go. There you get to see your first shot or first view of the Dragon Mountain set. Um, and there are some awesome features um, within this set. But first and foremost, I have to say the dragon itself is awesome. Um, but you will get to see a closer look at that in a second. So let's start off by taking a look at the minifigures. Okay, so there you get to see the five minifigures that come with this set. And they are made up of two... Um, King's Knights from the King's Army we have our princess in the middle a dragon soldier and the dragon wizard at the end there so let's just take a closer look at the front of each of these okay so moving across the front first that we have there our knight in his shining armor with his shield and sword next um, King's Knight soldier there with his long spear then on to the princess and she does come with a dual sided face let's just take a quick look at the second side obviously they're now looking terrified um, our dragon soldier there with his shield and sword and then finally on to the awesome looking dragon wizard so let's take a look at the rear of each of these so there again the rear of the dragon wizard with his cape Dragon Soldier, there's the rear of the princess, you can get to see that crown at the top of her head there. And finally on to the two King's Knights. And as you can see there, quick side shot now. And again, just moving across, you get to see the weapons slightly better there now. There's that sword, spear, obviously the side view of the princess. Dragon Soldier there with shield and sword, and then finally over to the wizard with his staff there. Um, you get to see his cool looking red hands that um, he comes with. And finally another shot with the head gear removed. Um, two of these do come with dual sided heads. Um, I believe that is this one, so I'm just going to spin him around. So there you can see again from him a uh, bit of a terrified looking face and if we move over to here let's spin him round uh, you will see there again he comes with a dual sided face as well okay so that's our minifigures um, overview completed let's take a look at the awesome dragon next Okay, and there we go, there we get to see the dragon, and I have to say, I do love this dragon. Uh, just spin it around, which you can get to see from some different shots. Pretty much everything on this is movable. Okay, just continuing to spin around. And it's like, where do I start? Because like I said, most things are moving. We have the flame coming out of the mouth there, and that can be removed, if you so wish to. Uh, it's just a flame piece. Let's put that down for the moment. So while we're there, obviously the mouth um, opens, he says. There we go. So you can open the mouth. The mouth can be tilted in a number of formations, so it can be moved that way. So you can literally move it around if you want to, like that back round and we can go up God, everything's moving up um, like so or we can indeed go down like so if it was eating obviously in this case a king's soldier um, the arms will move they can go up 
and down. Um, obviously the same again on this side. The legs move, so you can have it in, obviously when we put that in position on um, some Lego, it could be in a sort of a running position if you so wish to, or it can enable you to put the dragon in more of an upright position like so. The tail moves around, so that can, you can see there, be moved around into multiple positions as well. Um, like so, kind of rushing around this. The wings can be moved out like so. so. You can put those right down if you wanted to, so it's like a flying position. And back up again, um, like so. So that's pretty much it for everything in the manoeuvres. Um, if we want to, we can put a minifigure on the top there if you wanted to. Um, so it could be obviously flying away with a minifigure. Um, but all in all, an absolutely a fantastic design, I have to say. I really do like this piece. Um, just moving in there so you can see some of that design um, and the printing, really, um, on that head and indeed the whole. Uh, body here. Awesome, awesome piece. Um, and it is very large, like I said, so let's just put that flame piece back in its mouth actually. It just simply slots in, like so. So now it's breathing out the fire, um, as you can see there. Um, so just to give you an idea um, of the size, you obviously did see it on top of the Dragon Mountain. And if I bring in, bring in, let's bring in the princess. If I bring in the princess and stand the princess minifigure next to the dragon there, there you really do get to understand the scale compared to a standard minifigure um, with regards to what this truly awesome um, dragon does look like. Okay guys, so that's it for our dragon. Um, next up is going to be the actual dragon mountain structure um, itself so let's take a look at that now okay so here we get to see a dragon mountain um, itself um, let's just spin this round so we get to see this from a few different angles we'll take a closer look at some of the features and details in a second Finally, back round to the front. So, first off, um, something which I thought was a very cool design feature, and just use some pieces that um, I don't recall seeing before, um, which pretty much makes up what is the um, this stairway over here. Um, this piece here, these stairs. So, hopefully, you can get to see those. But some pretty cool looking stairs there. That obviously, take us up from the bottom up to. Um, get to what is the um, prison cell area there which is where the princess is held. Um, some cool looking torches, um, obviously a lot of greenerage used um, on this one to depict where it is, kind of a bit of a dragon mountain you can see there and hanging down here and here. Um, also we have this main sort of archway Okay, then over to the other side here. Um, on this side, we have this treasure chest, and indeed, what would be a treasure chest? Take that off without treasure. So we can see in there there is indeed gold coins and a bit of gold bullion in here, but that just simply sits on there. Um, again, some green foliage um, hanging down. And round to the side, some cool rock pieces used. Round to the rear, um, we can see there this rather mean looking um, cobweb and spider. Um, you might be able to see there, this is kind of just hinged on so that it can simply come down, like so. Now, in here is the wizard's area, really, where he's creating all his potions. Um, hopefully, you can get to see that in there. There's a bit of a flame going in there. 
we have some little pots there with some I'm sure potions going in there um, we have two keys there um, which will no doubt be for the cell where the princess is being held um, just moving up uh, we have kind of the main platform area there um, where we can put minifigures but that's where the dragon um, sits really um, on that main platform uh, moving over to this side here um, again we have an area uh, in here which is kind of a got a little sort of bar area in here but no doubt that is a drink and some food a bit of cheese there um, and a drink um, and again there is a torch inside that to obviously light the area up and um, then if we move up um, you get to see the other side there of the cell, the prison cell area where the princess is obviously kept there. And you can see the prison cell door opens if I just grab the princess and uh, put her in there. There we go, we now get to see that with the princess in and we look what that looks like from the front in a second. Um, just continuing to move up to the top of the structure there we can see pretty much almost at the top there we have a flame um, some sort of crystal flamed jewel um, inside there obviously that's going to be for the wizard again um, and then at the very very top up there there is an area for the wizard to go Let's just grab him and put him up there so there we got the wizard at the top of the Dragon Mountain. Okay, just moving back down, one of a feature, if we move down and across there at the top of the arch, what would be a Lego castle set without a um, catapult. <clears throat> and there we get to see the catapult on this particular set there. Straightforward mechanism, push down and fire. And here are the flaming boulders um, no doubt the dragon likes those um, which can be fired from the catapult awesome design obviously in the red and black colors of the dragons um, back around to the front now again if we just zoom in there we can get to see the princess now um, behind bars, obviously in her prison cell there. Um, just moving up, we can see some of the colours again of the dragons. Um, a shield there used to show that emblem of the dragons and the dragon soldiers. Um, and some flags there, uh, red flags again on the black staffs to again depict and represent the dragons. Um, one final thing which I think I missed out, if we go down, 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 back down to the bottom, and hopefully zoom in. Right down there, you can probably see there's a bit of a mouse hole there, so that's either a mouse, or in this case, I suspect that's a dirty rat um, just coming out um, of the dragon mountain. Okay, there we go. So that's the main Dragon Mountain um, structure itself. So the final piece to show you is the catapult from the King's Knights Army. So let's take a quick look at that now. Okay, and finally we have the catapult from the King's Army. Um, just to show you the size of this. Let's just get this minifigure and put them in front. Um, you can see the minifigure there because it is a pretty large catapult. Um, some good little, I guess, design features on it that make it truly look like a catapult. Um, we have obviously the flag there, the blue and gold for the King's Army. Um, again, the blue on the wheels. You can see the wheels do go around, so this is easily renewable. Um, the main catapult function is just simply push down and fire. We'll take a look at that in a second. We spin around to the front. You kind of see that this can be used as a battering ram um, as well. Uh, with these spears um, coming out of the front again in the gold and blue colours which you can see there looking quite menacing 
and we have some just some detailing here obviously these levers don't actually operate anything that's just more for the aesthetic just to show the design um, and just following it again round to the side and back round to the rear just tip that up like so so you can get to see from that shot okay so the main catapult itself here's the boulder in this instance which is fired um, from the catapult again just simply place that inside the bucket um, and to obviously launch that uh, huge boulder is just simply a case of pushing down and firing it out like so so again very very simple very easy um, just push down and fire and that does shoot a long distance so guys that is pretty much it for the catapult quite well designed looks pretty um, cool so there we go, that is my review complete for the Dragon Mountain from the Lego Castle theme set 70403. Hopefully you did enjoy this view, review guys, if you did please go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. Any comments, questions or feedback leave down in that comment section. My view on this set um, for the Dragon alone makes this an absolute awesome set. That is a cool piece. Um, Design looks great, comes with some other great pieces. The um, wizard at the top there I think is awesome. Obviously every Lego castle um, needs a princess, so you get the princess um, with this set and obviously there are some more minifigures to go towards your army and a um, pretty cool looking catapult as well. So again, it's got to be another thumbs up from me um, when it comes to uh, the Lego castle um, uh, theme. Um, anyway guys, so like I said, that is it, and finally if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel Destination Lego, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!